Hey guys, even here. So we have another bodybuilder passing away and that is Boston Lloyd. Now Boston was not a professional bodybuilder, but he was very well known in bodybuilding community. If you guys are hardcore bodybuilding fans, if you follow my channel, I'm sure you heard about this guy. So he, he died and when I saw this, initially I was in shock, probably because he was so young, he was only 29. But also because I was following him for a long, long time. If you guys remember Physics of Greatness and Chris Jones and also Louis Marco, they made a video about him when he first made his breakthrough with that one year crazy transformation. And that's basically when I started following him. So for almost 10 years I've been following this guy and he has been through a lot of stuff since then. Uh, he showed it to us basically on camera what he was injecting, what kind of stuff he was using. And here's the thing, he wasn't only abusing gear like all bodybuilders do. He was doing some risky stuff, he was doing some crazy protocols. For example, he was always using DMP, which is something that is so crazy. Uh, the difference between the lethal and the effective dose is so tiny that he was basically risking his life every time he was using it, but he was still using it. And you guys probably know that his kidneys were failing, he was at stage 5 kidney failure. And what he believes is the reason for uh, messing up his kidneys completely, no, it wasn't like just gear or stuff like that, it was what he thinks, some stuff that he was uh, testing on his body basically. It was some new crazy fat burner or something like that. I can't remember exactly what it was, but he talked about it on RX Muscle. So he was testing this thing on his body and the thing wasn't previously tested on humans. It was tested on like rats, something like that, and he decided to give it a go. So uh, I think it was a fat burner, it was very potent, it was working really well, but after that his kidneys started failing and uh, he didn't get to dialysis yet. But his doctors expected him to get to that. Uh, basically, a couple of days ago, he posted this on his Facebook. And isn't it weird that he posted this two days ago and today he passed away. So in this post right here, uh, he talks about his uh, kidney issue, what is going on with it. And he made a couple of interesting statements here. I read this two days ago. So basically what he says... Uh, is that uh, he was diagnosed with, sti with stage 5 kidney failure in October of 2020. The doctors expected him to be on dialysis uh, by the time he was writing this post, but as he says, he has passed the doctor's expectations. He said that he was living a normal lifestyle with some minor deviations, but he was good overall. And the last part that I highlighted, as you can see, was the interesting part for me. Uh, he says that he was doing some outside-of-the-box thinking and treatments. So he wasn't doing what the doctors told him to do, apparently. As you can see in this post as well, he talks uh, in length about uh, being uh, sick and tired of uh, their medical system. And he says that if he just listened to doctors, he would already be on dialysis. So as you can see, he wasn't really following the doctor's advice. I don't know how much uh, better would he be if he did, or was it actually too late? You know, I mean, it was stage 5 kidney failure. And as you just saw, uh, Tom Prince passed away after being on dialysis for 20 years. So his kidneys failed, and he still lived for 20 years. So maybe Boston still had a chance. What is suspected to be the cause of that is a heart attack, but the cause is still not revealed, it's not official. But they found him uh, on the floor of his kitchen, so it was something sudden. And considering his illness, heart attack would only make sense. But right now we are not sure, it's probably that. Uh, we'll see, we'll find out uh, soon enough, but it doesn't really matter, I mean... He died, he's gone, and I was a huge fan of this guy. I mean, he was uh, he was unorthodox, but he was honest about what he was doing. He was heavily criticized for all that he was doing, and he knew that he was risking a lot. He was just that kind of a person. I mean, he made a name for himself, he made a good living, but apparently, I mean, was it worth it to die at 29? Uh, no, of course it wasn't. He would die as a very, very young man. He had a wife. He had a child, he was also very close with his parents, so it's a, it's a real tragedy that this guy died. 
but uh, honestly guys i can't say i'm too surprised and not only because he was in in kidney failure but even if there wasn't for that you kind of wouldn't hope that somebody who was abusing uh, gear that much like he did i don't know anybody who abused it more than him not even close you know considering that it was kind of expected for him to not live very long so many deaths in bodybuilding so many deaths lately so many young bodybuilders passed away tragedy after tragedy anyways boston lloyd passed away may he rest in peace